Hello, welcome to my first reading vlog. If you're seeing this, I have finally decided to upload a reading vlog because I've attempted to film one many times. But the reason that I'm doing this this time is because it's the final days of the readathon. It's the weekend. Today is Friday. Uh, what time is it? It's like 5.30 now. Uh, and I'm trying to avoid the sun here. It's really sunny outside. I finished work and I went to the, the grocery store. I have to finish putting stuff in the right place now, but I'm going to be listening to an audiobook while I do that. And just to show you what I'm planning on reading this weekend. So I want to finish A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lopena. This is for the read for the readathon. She is a Canadian author, although the book does not happen in Canada, which I was surprised. I mean, it's fine. It's just I wanted it to be more thematic for the readathon, but it's fine. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm I have I don't have a lot left. I half listened half read physically the book so far but i think i'm going to end it physically because i have an audio another audiobook that i'm listening to which is women talking by miriam toves that i just started today so let's go organize the house and listen to an audiobook i have a few other fun plans for this weekend so i thought it would be fun to share with you okay i put everything away so now i can <laughs> talk to you better about what I'm reading and all of that. So, the... Let me pick this up. This book that I mentioned that I'm almost at the end, this is a thriller about a woman who gets into a car accident, but then she doesn't remember anything about why she was there, what was happening, and there is a murder that happens right where the accident was. So they started start investigating her, and there are also some other, other stuff here that I'm not going to tell you because it's a thriller and it's not that that big but i'm enjoying it i've given five stars to the other two books by the author that i've read and this one is not necessarily five stars i don't think it's going to be unless the ending is very twisty and i love it but so far it's more of a 3.5 four stars we'll see what happens i feel like it's telling me everything like there's I don't have a lot of questions anymore left in this book. I have a few uh, suspicions about what's going on with some characters, but we'll see. And Women Talking, which is the audiobook that I mentioned, is about... Uh, it's based on a true story that happened in a Mennonite community where women were being drugged and abused, and they were made to believe that they were paying for their scenes or that the demons were attacking them or something like that. But then they found out that it was the man of the community. And now they're kind of getting together to decide what to do. And that's kind of the idea of this book. I'm predicting it's going to be very uh, impactful, I guess, and sad. But we'll see. It's a, it's a, it's a weird premise, a weird setup they wouldn't expect because it's a man telling the story because the women are illiterate so they ask this man to sorry I have to hold my phone because I don't have like a tripod or something to hold it but they, they ask this man to write write it down and document what what's happening in that meeting so it's narrated by a man but it's a good narration so far I'm enjoying it like I said, this weekend there are a few exciting things happening. First of all, tomorrow morning I'm going to participate in my first live stream here on YouTube uh, in Sasha's channel from The Wild Sasha. As you're seeing this, it already happened, but that's what I'm doing tomorrow morning. I'm excited for it. It's just going to be about bookish things and like anything. And then tomorrow night, my husband and I are planning to cook something really complex and difficult, which I'm very excited for. We have these dinners every other weekend that we plan something unique and different and complicated most of the time to cook together, which is a lot of fun. And we are kind of planning to do a barbecue on Sunday, just the two of us, no more people. We're not comfortable yet getting into public transportation mostly, and we don't own a car, so we're not seeing anyone during this time. 
but there's a terrace here in our building that has uh, that has a barbecue that we can use. So we're going to do that. Probably that's the plan if the weather's nice. And so far, can you see it? No, it's just all white. But the weather's really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go check on the cats because I got an Amazon package and they're like almost trying to open the box themselves. <laughs> it's not books. It's just uh, what did we order? Things for to help us cook. One of the things that we're planning to cook tonight, uh, tomorrow night, is. I don't know the name, I forgot the name, but it in English it's like potato, like mashed potatoes with a lot of cheese. They pull in just like the cheese. So we'll see if that's gonna work. So we bought a specific thing to mash potatoes because the one that we had is not as good. And we bought some other stuff to cook as well. Oh, I also wanna bake a lime pie that we found a recipe online, so we bought uh, pans with removable bottom and I don't remember what else is in that box but just stuff for the kitchen no books I never order books on Amazon anymore I don't remember the last time I did I, I usually just order on Indigo because I get points there when it's like new books that's usually where I get them but yeah let me go fix that Good morning, today is Saturday, it's 7.40 a.m. and I just got ready to do the live stream for Bookushions at Sasha's channel that I mentioned yesterday. I didn't update you anymore yesterday because I didn't... well, I read a bunch of the audiobook, but then in the evening I watched Jojo Rabbit and it was really good, I really recommend it, but I haven't read... <laughs> okay, you can go, you can go, or you can see here. But I read a little bit of this before bed, and now on page 252, which is chapter 37. After the live stream, I'm going to <laughs> attempt to organize my bookshelf, but I'll tell you more about it after. I just finished the live stream at Sasha's channel, so you can watch that there already if you weren't live with us. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time with them and we talked about a lot of books. You have a lot of book recommendations there if you are looking for them and just a lot of our favorite and not favorite bookish things. So it was awesome. Now it's time to organize the bookshelf and while I do that I'm going to be listening to Women Talking since I last updated you. Today it's Monday already after work, it's like 5 o'clock and I don't think I said anything yesterday but Sunday was fun, like I said we did a, had a barbecue in the roof and it was also Father's Day in Brazil so I talked to my dad and my, with my brother and it was a lot of fun but I also finished A Stranger in the House. 
I honestly this was a disappointment for me because I mentioned that she has some of my favorite thrillers. I rated five stars for both of the thrillers that I read by her previously, and this was like a three stars. And mostly because I felt like nothing happened from the middle of the book forward. I don't think it was mysterious enough. I didn't have a lot of questions that needed to be answered. And like the final pages of the book, there was a like a kind of like a plot twist, but it wasn't that twisty for me. I don't think it was that interesting. So I'm very disappointed. I would not recommend this. I, I don't know, I think it's it's not a bad book, but I don't think I would recommend it because I just, I have so many other better thrillers to recommend. But I finished this. I am almost done with Women Talking, the audiobook that I'm listening to. I'm like 85, 90%. So I should finish it soon. Today I have French class, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but I should finish that soon. It's like, Unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't finish for the readathon, but it's fine. And I'm also, I've also started uh, Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Angelis yesterday, after I finished Stranger in the House. I'm not very far in it, but I'm intrigued. I feel like it's going to be a lot like many other YA fantasies that I've read in the sense of how the characters are and their interactions with each other, like there are a lot of very young, uh, especially men here, that like they they behave like adults. Kind of, they think they're adults, but they're actually teenagers. There's a lot of that here. A little bit like Six, six of Curls. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but the story itself is intriguing so far. So it's about this girl who can do magic. The magic system is very loose here. I have no idea how it works, but she can do some different types of magic. And she wants to go to this other city where there's a magic competition going on, but the guy who runs the club where she performs says that she can't go, but she's going anyway. <laughs> and that's pretty much how far I am. So just to finish this vlog, I wanted to film a video, a whole video of Q&A, for my 500 subscribers, which are now almost at 700, and I'm beyond grateful and happy about this. Thank you so much. But I wanted to film a Q&A, but I didn't have enough questions for it. So I'm going to answer them here, because I don't want to just leave the people who asked me without an answer. So this is going to be a tiny two-question two question Q&A. So the first question that I got was, who's your favorite author and what book and what book that made you love them? When I organized my bookshop on Saturday, I made a tiny reserved space for New Schusterman <laughs> here. I don't have all of his books, and some of them are, are on my TBR shelf, because I was able to separate all my TBR in one just one shelf and have all the red books here, so these are only the red books. But yeah, he, I would say he's my favorite author, and the book that made me realize that I loved him was actually Challenger Deep. I read this in Portuguese actually, but this the reason for that was that I had read Unwind. I don't have it here, but I read Unwind, just the first one. I need to read the whole series. And I also read Scythe and Thunderhead, and I loved it so much. It was like some of all-time favorites. They still are. But then I read <laughs> Challenger Deep, which are so different from all of his other books. That made me realize that whatever he writes, no matter what genre or anything, his writing style is just made for me and I will love anything that he writes. Bruiser is also such a different style and different genre from everything else and I loved it, also five stars. Dry, I would say, is a bit more similar because it's kind of like a dystopian vibe to it, so it's more similar to the others, although there's not high-end sci-fi or anything like Scythe. But yeah, he's my favorite author. And the second question that I got was, what's your opinion about ebooks versus versus physical books? Uh, I used to read ebooks much more than I do now. When I was in Brazil, I used to read more ebooks than I read currently, and I love collecting books and I love the feel of holding a book. So I'm now more reading physical books than ebooks, but I don't like it. I think both have their advantages and disadvantages. 
for sure when I travel I will bring maybe two like light books and then my Kindle that has so many more books that I could read. I'm not gonna carry too many heavy books with me. So definitely I have nothing against ebooks. I on the contrary I think they're a great format. And like I said in Brazil that's one of the only formats that I would have to read books in English and to read uh, books sooner because they weren't published in Brazil yet or just cheaper books because it was very expensive there. So I now I'm reading less ebooks than I used to. Sometimes I read from the library but just like buying books is more rare for me now but I love them both. More physical books now that I have the opportunity and I can afford <laughs> ebook, physical books but I love them both. And I think that's it. For this vlog let me know your answers to these two questions because i'd love to know as well and if you are still here with me watching this let me know if you'd want me to film more vlogs like this i could do either like weekly vlogs or just weekend vlogs because that's when i usually read the most and i promise i will get better at updating you every day and not scattered like i did this time i will get better at this i promise but I had fun, and I hope you did too. So thank you so much for joining me. Bye!